Hey everyone, Kafka's back, and today's video is about religious people completely oblivious to how pushy they are. These people sit there and pretend to be moderate Christians, but they're not. I'm sure you've seen these people on around or on Facebook. Every 15 minutes, if you're lucky, is Jesus this, Jesus that. Jesus told me we should be friends again. Listen, I don't give a fuck what your Jesus has to say. It's your religion, and I don't care how you practice it. Just leave me out of it. I don't sit here and mock your religion in every conversation, but you feel the need to bring up Jesus every fucking time. You'll say you don't hate me for being an atheist, but if that were true, you'd quit trying to convert me. If you want me to respect your delusions, then don't throw it in my face. Don't say I want you to pray for me or with me. If you ask for prayers and I ask if I can do anything to actually help, don't get so offended. I'm not satisfied with stroking my own ego to say I helped when all I did was say magic words to an imaginary friend. At the point when I finally just say, enough of your bullshit, they'll just go, I'll pray for you. Well, maybe I'll just take a shit for you, at least that'll have tangible results. You're not oppressed just because we don't all follow your rule book. As an atheist, I right my wrongs to the people I've wronged, not my imaginary friend. Don't sit there and say Jesus has forgiven you, since supposedly he'll forgive anybody, so I guess that's not worth all that much now, is it? It's not a healthy mindset to think that asking forgiveness from an imaginary being makes the bad things you've done go away. You have to make it right or you lose your accountability. A number of people have committed atrocities because they think their God will be okay with it. The real world doesn't work that way. Morality doesn't work this way. So, as an atheist, I'd say my morality is a lot better than yours. Oh my god, they want to take under God out of the pledge or in God we trust off the money. You do realize, of course, that those lines were not in the original. They were added in the 50s because of the godless communists of the Cold War. That's right. It was put there out of fear, just like every last one of your sheep in the pew at church on Sunday. If you're so afraid of your god that if everyone doesn't follow him to a T, then maybe he doesn't deserve worship at all. Have you thought of that? You may as well go to North Korea and worship your glorious leader. No greater parallel can be drawn than that. North Korea is what religious people want. Everyone blindly following a power figure out of fear. With no semblance of uh, reality or personality or anything. They just want everyone to be the same goddamn thing. And that's boring as hell. This has been Kafku, the Black and Blue Wolf. Signing off until next time. Bye.